Welcome back. Our talk tonight continues. And Nida lawmakers are proposing raising property taxes above the state mandated 2% cap. The city wants to increase taxes by 6% and use money from a reserve fund to help fight a $700,000 budget deficit. Mm. This is a trend we're hearing more about in central New York. Earlier this week, the mayor of Oswego proposed a similar resolution as a safety net so the city can avoid paying state penalties if the budget uh, goes above the cap. So is this a trend we are going to see more often here in central New York and across the state? We're talking about the issue tonight. And, you know, I guess, guys, um, these municipalities have these big deficits that they have they to do. fill. And so they're, they're trying to come up to come up with some sort of solution, raising taxes, uh, cutting services. You know, what do you do? Well, this starts out by putting the glaring eye on the law that was created in the first place, that it was passed for political reasons so people in Albany could say they're doing something about local property sure. taxes. What they didn't do is do enough of the mandate relief. They didn't solve the problems with pensions and retirement funds. So these local governments still have these giant costs that are put on them by New York State, who then said that they can't raise property taxes to solve those problems. From Albany, Does that it sum was, it up? Uh, absolutely sums so this it up. Was, this it shifts was, the focus completely right. off the lawmakers in Albany right. and says, we did exactly what the people wanted. We said 2% is the limit, and it shifts the focus of the people who actually live in these towns and who are actually paying the taxes, shifts their anger, if there is anger, at the mayor, at the town council, at the village board. Um, from Albany's perspective, it was genius. But the bottom line is there are these folks who are actually putting the numbers together in these small towns and cities who who are just saying, what in the world are we going to do? Are we going to shut down the fire department? Right. Because that's the only way to make these numbers work. Now, the governor came to town, I think it was about a year ago, saying, well, this is working. All these discussions that are going on about, oh, my gosh, how are we going to cut? How are we going to do this? Or how are we going to extend our limit a little bit so we can pass the budget? He's seeing that as being good, that the discussion wasn't taking place before. Even if it's imperfect, it's good that the discussions are taking place. Right. It's not a bad point. Yeah, Alex Dunbar was covering the story today. He talked to uh, some taxpayers. and let's what they had to say. I've lived here 34 years and the amount of homes I have seen go up for sale in the last couple of years is, is unbelievable. People can't afford to live here. I don't believe they should be able to. Not if the governor set a limit on it. Why, why should they be able to just, you know, surpass the limit? I, I don't understand the whole reasoning behind it. Yeah, it's always amazing to me. My parents live out in Kansas, um, mm -hmm. which obviously is a much different place, uh, you know, compared to New York. They pay lower property taxes than I do, and Everybody they have a much bigger does. house. Yeah, it's Everybody just in the country does. The study came out yesterday, the day before. We we continue to be the most taxed people of all the states in the country. Um, it just, it, it's, there's no other way to say it. It's in black and white, and that's the way it is. The, it's not what you want to say you're number one for, right? No, yeah. not at all. But the governor has come repeatedly, to your point about him coming to town, he has said repeatedly in, in sound bites that we have run on the news, you people can make it work. You can make it work. I know you can make it work. And that's, that's all he's said on it. And, and they have, and, and just saying it over and over again doesn't necessarily right. make it true. Yeah. And they have started to address the issue of those those unfunded mandates and the costs they put on local government, but they have not gotten very far on that either. So there'll be more towns and, and villages that have to deal with this limit. Yeah, we yeah. we posted the question on our Facebook page tonight. Certainly, we would love to hear from all of you what you think needs to be done. Go to the Facebook page and check it out. Right now, we want to go outside and get the latest on.